Hello, this is Builder Dominic, and welcome to another LEGO review of the Series 14 minifigures, Monsters. Today, we'll be looking at minifigure number 11, Skeleton Guy. The Skeleton Guy minifigure was the only non-monster minifigure. It was a minifigure in a skeleton costume. And the skeleton costume is based off, you know, the costume that you would find in any Halloween store or any aisle of Halloween costumes during Halloween time. The way you could tell this was the Skeleton Guy minifigure was through his trick-or-treat jack-o'-lantern bucket for him to put his candy in. It was a very big, bulgy um, tub and hollow in the center for him to put his candy in. And he's got this nice, thin little handle on it. And the other clue was that it was just a plain minifigure. Standard feet, standard torso, standard head. There was no special headpiece, there was no tail, there was no monster accessory to him. Um, but the interesting thing about this minifigure is the headpiece. Now I'm going to turn it around here with his mask, and you've got the eyes shooting through the mask here, and his arms have the skeleton design, his legs have the skeleton design. But look there, you see the strap holding the mask on? That goes 360 degrees around the minifigure's head. So you've got the little bow tying it off, and the skeleton in the back. But as I turn it, see, it doesn't stop. The band keeps going around the minifigure's head. And the only other minifigure to do that was the Alfred minifigure in the Batman theme. So this is the second minifigure to have printing that goes all the way around the minifigure's head. And that's just a fun little piece of trivia for uh, LEGO fans. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And you can click on the image to watch another video. Thank you.